This is Sebastian Middle Martinez, MMA News, here with Corey Anderson, who faces Johnny Walker at UFC 244. So this is shaping out to be one of the biggest cards of the year, just, you know, sheerly because of all the crazy attention that it's garnered. garnered. We've got the BMF title, we've got Donald Trump coming to watch the fights. Is it hard not to get swept up with all the, like, sort of erratic chaos around the event? No. I'm here for one reason, that's to handle business. The rest of that is cool and dandy, you know. It's a good title, a nice title to promote it. Or the, the chant, or I said the chant, the president is coming, that's cool and all dandy, but that has nothing to do with what I'm going to do. You know, I got one job, one focus, is Johnny Walker, and that's the Oxford guy, and go out there and dominate. When that's all so over, said, and done, then we'll take in the rest of it that's here. And, you know, it's been a while since we saw you. It was way back, you know, December last year. You've been off, and you mentioned a little bit that uh, you kind of regretted not taking a fight with Alexander Gustafsson that was presented a, a little bit later on or that was perhaps talked about. Is that something you could just expand on a little bit? Like, what, what was the circumstances around that? And, you know, do you still today maybe wish that you would have taken a fight with Gustafsson? Uh, the, the post wasn't so much I regret not taking a fight. It was I regret hesitating on saying yes. I wanted to fight. Me and Gus had already talked about it. We talked prior that we was wanting to fight each other. And that was the fight I wanted. But an agreement I made with my wife was we're not going to do any more fight. But she went through three fight camps with me while pregnant. And I told her after this fight, because she was so close to popping, we won't do any more fight business. We won't do anything until the baby comes. And they called me. And the date they originally wanted me was March 1st or March 10th. But my baby was due on March 9th. My baby was born March 8th at midnight or March 8th, 1159. So I didn't, wouldn't want to be away. And I told him, like, you push me back a later date, we can probably do it. Let me have the baby and let's do it a later date. That's what I told the UFC and my manager. Um, me and Gus was talking again. The baby was born. I talked to the doctors. Everything safe, everything healthy. Because at the time, um, what's his name, uh, the executioner or whatever, the 125er, his son was going through the health problems or whatever, and it scared me. Ray Borg, excuse me, yeah. And it was, um, that was in my head, like, yo, like, what if something was wrong with my son when he bought? I want to make sure everything is fine before I get to in camp and I got to be there. But once the doctor said, you got a perfectly healthy baby, there's nothing wrong, everything is okay. I picked up the phone, told Ali, everything is good. I text um, Gus, like, you still want to fight? Let's do it. 100%, bro, let's do it June 1st in Stockholm. Let's go. Talk to Dana, and Dana was like, no. You said, no, we're going with Anthony Smith. But might I add, I literally had just said, it was like 18 hours ago they called me, and I said, let me, my, I'm at the hospital now. Let me finish the birth. And then you can call the UFC back and tell them what we're going to do. And in that fast, they changed up on me. And then it, it was a fight I wanted. And I knew Gus was the only person in the division willing to fight me that's ranked above me. And that was more of what it was. And I said, I regret saying it because he retired. You know, after that, I knew I was at the point where I'm going to be sitting and nobody wanted to fight me. It wasn't the fact I missed the opportunity. It was like I wanted that fight and now he's done. And that's the guy I wanted to fight. You know, going into after him and Jones fought the first time, I always wanted to fight Gus or Jones. Those are good fighters. And I lost the opportunity to fight Gus because he retired. That's what my post was about. And he's uh, recently had spoken out about having second thoughts about his retirement. He's been talking about, you know, he's been saying, oh, it's itching, that he kind of wants to come back. If he were to come back, do you want that fight again? If he's still in the right position, like he's still up in the top, yeah. If I'm at the top and he want to fight me to get to the title again, yeah. You know, I'm not going to, if he comes back, and he's on like a downward slope or something because it's time off. He ain't the same. I'm not going to go backwards or fight him. But at the time, I would hope he can stay at the top. It's Gustafson, Alex Gustafson. He's the man. He's good. The mauler. I like him. And I hope he comes in, if he comes back, and stays as good as he was. And I would love to square off with him. But until then, you got Johnny Walker ahead of you, a guy who was kind of hard to read. And he was, and he was uh, tripping on the way up to the stare downs. You know, we've heard injuries occur last minute like with Tony Ferguson tripped over a cord when you saw him trip there on the stairs were you worried a little second that like oh shit maybe the fight's off no I wasn't worried it was happening I knew it was gonna be an act you know he does it each every face that he come up and trip he go out and do a little falls or worm he's theatrical you know that's his thing what I was worried about if he hurt himself I would be pissed because we made it this far we know he's he's known for hurting himself now falling you don't, every time you can't plan how it's going to happen. Anything could happen. The stair could have fell off my knee, and he could have actually hurt himself. You know, it's, I think it's stupid that you would go out there and risk throwing your body out there. Like, even though it's fun in games, get people talking, is a headline reader, but why would you risk that? You get hurt again, and we came this far, now what? And so, what would you say is the key to defeating him? Because so far, he's been like too explosive for people in the UFC to handle. Go out there and be yourself. 
you know. Like everybody go out and they let him get in, his head, in their head with his fanciness, his jumping and all his spins and everything. If you think too much, hesitation equals death. That's the number one thing my coach said. Hesitation equals death. You go out there, you're thinking too much, you hesitate, it's too late. He's already ahead of you. You just got to go out there and know what you're here for. Have a good game plan and dominate. Me, my style is just hard for anybody. The up and downs, the take you down, the hands, the kicks. You never know what's coming, when it's coming. So I just go out there and be myself. That's it. All right. I can't possibly top that out, Thank you very much. Good luck in the fight.